The City of Fort St. John is moving forward with their Recreational Facilities Master Plan. The City has put out a request for proposal for consulting companies to help them on the plan, which will determine the future of sports buildings in the City over the next 20 years. City Councilor Trevor Boland says the plan is necessary for a growing city. With Fort St. John, um, an, an area poised for you know some pretty huge growth of some of these projects and when these projects start taking off, um, we need to look at what we're short in, um, whether it's soccer facilities, whether it's gymnastics, whether it's play centers, whatever that is, but in line with that, where they need to be built. General Manager of Community Services Wally Ferris says the buildings currently in place may need some major upgrades. Most of our facilities in the city of Fort St. John, with the exception of uh, the Pomeroy Sports Centre, are, you know, 40 years old. So understanding, uh, understanding the condition of those facilities, what investments are required uh, in those facilities and and how much time are those investments are going to going to buy us? That's important information. The city also wants to make the plan regional in scope by involving surrounding communities whose residents use the buildings. Councillor Boland says that there are communities nearby that use this strategy. Alberta's been doing it for a few years, where the municipalities, the MDs, you know, everybody's in on together. And if if they you know they need another ice rink, well, it doesn't need to be built in the city. It can very well be built in the outlying area that everybody contributes to, and, and it works out quite well. Ferris says that the city will be reaching out to the public for input in the coming months. We'll have public open sessions and we'll also have uh, sessions with key stakeholders, minor hockey, soccer, gymnastics, uh, all of those groups to name a few um, within the city. Ferris says the city plans to have a consulting company in place by mid-April and complete the master plan by the end of September. Hugh Smith, CJDC-TV, Fort St. John.